we do these story times, we do it off the top of our heads. Coco is always better <laughs> at this than I am. So uh, <laughs> let's see how it turns out. Okay. So once upon a time, there was a dog named Bruno. Mm. And Bruno had an owner whose name was Shelly. She mm -hmm. was a little girl and she loved her dog, Bruno. Not only did she love her dog, but she loved dancing. Mm -hmm. Shelly was a dancer and she wanted her dog to be able to dance too. Skills, skills. So she decided that she wanted to teach her dog because she said, you know, I kind of wish I had someone to dance with. Um, but it wasn't a lot of friends that she could hang out with all the time. You know, she would see them at school, but not all the time out of school. She's like, well, maybe I'll try and teach my dog how to dance. So she started looking up videos on like YouTube and everything and saw that it was possible. She just had to figure out how. So as she started looking, she couldn't find a lot of people who were doing it, but she said, okay, Bruno, you got to get this, okay? We have, to, we have to work hard. We have to do it. So as Shelly's trying to teach Bruno, Bruno's playing, knocking stuff over, not paying attention, doing the most, and Shelly starts getting really angry, okay? So she's like, Bruno, we have to get this. Do it right. So the first move, she was like, mm. Mm. Okay. So then she's like, come on, Bruno, do those two steps. He said, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so he just wasn't getting it. Or was he not just trying? So Shelly kept trying this. It went on for about a half an hour, and she was just so frustrated at him. She was kind of being mean to him. Like, you got to get it. You got to get it. And Shelly's mom kind of heard her not being the nicest to the dog. And she's like, Shelly, you have to understand that some people and animals learn differently. And she's like, but mom, I saw some people doing it on the internet. And she's like, well, just because they were doing it doesn't mean you could do it the same way. You know, you have to understand the best way for Bruno to learn. And Bruno sat there like this. Like, yeah, what she said, but in, in dog tone. <laughs> so he's just looking like, okay. So she's like, okay, mom. I apologize, Bruno, okay? I just got really excited, and I really wanted us to get this. So if you could at least just try and stop knocking stuff over <laughs> and stop hitting me with your tail, we could at least get somewhere. Mm -hmm. So Bruno and her agreed. One with a paw and one with a hand. <laughs> and they agreed that they were going to at least try. So they started doing it. So you could be Shelly. Okay. So Shelly did it again. One Two. So Bruno tried, he said, one, roof. Okay. <laughs> and then she said, Shelly was like, okay, that's close, but uh -huh. not like super close, mm -hmm. but it's close. Okay. So, <laughs> so she realized that the more patient she was, like she didn't have to rush it. She didn't have to rush it. She's like, okay, Bruno kind of responds better when I when I do it this way. So she's like, okay, Bruno, let's try, let's try half the move a little slower. So let's try move one. So she goes one, and Bruno gets it, gets it. Roof. Okay, with the roof, with the roof, in the dog ways. And then she's like, good job, Bruno, good job. So with encouragement, she's like, let's try the second one. One, two. Roof, roof. Okay, okay. <laughs> So that makes Shelly really excited. So because she sees Bruno's reacting so well, she adds the next moves. She's like, okay, Bruno, here is three and four. So we go three, four. Okay, you got it, Bruno? Okay, okay, it's okay. It's okay if you don't have it. So let's start again with the first part. It's the one, two, and you kind of lean. You know how you lean when you're trying to scratch your back and everything or something? Yeah, you lean. That's three, then you lean the other way. Four. Okay, you got it. So let's let's try to bring it together. And one, two, three, and four. Good job, Bruno. And Bruno's tail started wiggling and wiggling like this because he was so so excited. And Shelly said, "Calm down. You're doing too much." So Bruno said, Urf. So then they calmed down a little bit because Shelly said, "Yeah, she did great, Bruins, but we gotta keep going. That's not the end, okay?" So then her mom hoed and she came down and she said. Shelly, I'm really proud of you. You're practicing patience and you're learning that not everybody is going to learn as quick as you. And how would you feel if somebody yelled at you because you couldn't get something? Mm -hmm. So Shelly took a moment and she thought about it. 
And she said, oh, that does make sense because I don't like when people yell at me. Mm -hmm. So then she tells Bruno again, okay, Bruno, we'll take it as slow as you need, but not too slow. We got <laughs> things to do. So then they, she, she said, okay, well, it's time for the next move. And the next move was, mm, mm. Give me shoulders. Give me yes. shoulders. Okay. So Bruno was like, we got that. We got that. Okay. So they did it together. Roof. Roof. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> ah, ah. So then Bruno's like, see, but in dog tone, Ruff, see, like that. So she's like, yeah, you got it. Don't get too big headed, though. So then they kept going. So then they were just so excited. And so the last steps, Bruno decided to add it. He's like, hey, in his dog voice, like maybe I, he wanted to contribute something to the choreography. So he's like, okay, how about we do something just a little step up which was and it shows like okay sure so she's waiting for bruno and bruno does something fancy like a and uh but then with pause with pause <laughs> so then bruno's like oh i don't have thumbs <laughs> and shell said it's okay bruno i'll make the noise but mm -hmm. like, you just do the motion mm -hmm. so then they did it so then they did it. roof roof mm, 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 mm. And then they were so excited. So word got out that there was this dog named Bruno and this little girl named Shelly, who Shelly trained her dog to be able to dance. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the world wanted to see it. The newscasters started calling them. The radio station started calling everybody. And they're just like, how did you get this dog to do this? And the first thing Shelly said was patience. I learned to be patient. I learned that everybody's not the same and that's okay but if you give people a chance those chances can mean a lot and it can change it can change things so not only did it change their relationship uh bruno and shelly but it also made other people look at them and they felt inspired to give people chances mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and because of that they were able to bond and not just do something that Shelly loves like it just started out something she loved to do but now because she practiced patience her and Bruno were able to travel the world together and show their love for each other as well as their love for dance so, but when they got back to the house mama was so proud of them that she drew through a party a party a party yes. and guess what Shelly and Bruno got to do at the party their dance. Their dance. So one last time, they did it. All the people surrounded, they were so happy because these people got to be in the house with them to see it live. Mm -hmm. So they got around, and Bruno and Shelly were ready to go. Mm -hmm. And they said, five, six, seven, eight. Roof, 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 uh, uh. Mm. Hey, and that's what they did. So, <laughs> and that's all that happened. It was so exciting, and it was did <laughs> so always practice patience with people around you because you never know how how it can motivate them and um to get them to understand things the way you do yes <laughs> and we hope you enjoyed our story see you next time for more <laughs> do it now coco you know that's a no-no every time we turn our heads you're always into trouble with pretty pigtails and a smile that makes us